Hi, I'm Aaron Weber, Data Analytics Manager with Spiral 16. We've been using our web monitoring platform to look at the race between Robin Carnahan and Roy Blunt for the Missouri Senate seat. Specifically, we're looking to see how each campaign is using online to control and broadcast their message. Now, our 3D data virtualization tool allows us to render a map of each campaign to analyze not only who's influential, but what kind of sentiment they're broadcasting and who's linking to who back and forth. And we found some interesting things, so let's load up the virtualization and uh, I'll show you a little bit of what I mean. Taking a look at Roy Blunt's campaign, we can see that his own Twitter page is the most influential um, URL within the insight. We also see some progressive political blogs as well as news aggregators from Missouri. If we take a step back and try to look in context, once again, we can see how the Twitter site is connected to so much. If we zoom out a little bit, we see uh, political uh, partners. We see Roy Blunt's on site, very high influence at number eight. Um, back to Twitter to kind of zoom out again to get some perspective. And here's an interesting thought. Right out here on these outer edges, unconnected to anything, we find the GOP.gov. So we know that they're supporting them. They're just not very influential. Nobody's linking to them. Nobody's considering that what they're saying to be particularly influential. Now this is interesting in that Blunt himself is doing a very good job controlling the message around his campaign, controlling the language. Uh, you see a lot of positive um, as well as negative, but people are talking about him. The things he says get linked to, get repeated, and in that regard, it's a very successful use of the online space. Now let's take a look at Robin Carnahan. Looking at the sites that came back for queries designed specifically for Robin Carnahan, as we zoom in, we see that the most influential site within this particular ecosystem is the Rasmussen poll results um, that are updating on the race itself, which everybody seems to be linking to, which makes perfect sense. We also see that Rasmussen holds the number three spot. Number 19, fired at Missouri, the progressive site. We've got Missouri headlines again at influence number two. So we see news sources controlling the conversation. Now, as we look at that Rasmussen, we kind of see who's connected to it. One of the things we find out is that Roy Blunt's own campaign site has an influence of four. So very, very influential in this ecosystem. We see a conservative blogger who's talking a lot about the topic, but nobody's really linking to, so not quite as influential. But what we don't see here, and we didn't see in the Roy Blunt Insight either, is RobinCarnahan.com or Robin Carnahan's Twitter site, which really tells us that Roy Blunt's campaign is doing a better job talking about Robin Carnahan than her own campaign. Let this serve as a lesson that it's not enough to be online. If you're not monitoring your own activity, you may very well find out that your message is controlled not by you, but by someone who really doesn't have your best interests at heart. Thanks for taking the time to walk through this case study with us. And on behalf of myself, Aaron Weber, and everybody else at Spiral 16, we look forward to seeing you again.